Welcome to the Chi Life podcast and webinar. Today we have with us a very good friend, Rachel Varga, and she is a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist. She is one of the first to combine functional flowing aging techniques, biohacking, and modern medical aesthetics by teaching us how to tune into what the skin is telling us about the internal health and what to do about it. So welcome, Rachel. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you, David. I love connecting with fellow radiant souls and just looking at you and your skin, seeing you on social media. I love what you're doing through your technology. And when I see men like you, it really lights me up and warms my heart because you have this radiance piece to you, which is hugely tied to electromagnetics. So I love the technology you're doing and looking forward to speaking to the ways that your technology also, and the understanding you have with things like BBM and, and all of that can really help support healthy skin and slowing aging and cultivating this aspect of us called radiance, mm -hmm. which is actually in accordance with Ayurvedic medicine, the 10th body, and it's the electromagnetic projection to the world of all of our internal systems. So I'm really excited about our conversation today. Right. So um, you have some very interesting approaches to skincare, uh, very different from, you know, what conventional people do. So can you tell us more about uh, what specifically you're doing differently and how the results are that you've been getting? Absolutely. Working with so many clients since 2011, 20,000 rejuvenation procedures later, I started to notice, I would say about 20. 14, 20, 15, a couple of years into my career, that certain clients would come to me, they'd sit in the chair and they'd say, Rachel, what can we do about my skin? I feel great on the inside. I just want the outside to match. You know, I want to look as good as I feel essentially. And some of these clients of mine, I barely had to do anything to them. And they would respond much. They'd have more powerful rejuvenation outcomes and they would heal faster and they would require fewer interventions. So I started to actually take notes out of their playbook and there are often individuals aged 60 to 90 and across the board, they had very dialed in body, mind, spirit, and energy practices. They were right with God. They had spiritual practices and they really knew who they were. They had great boundaries and, and all of these things. And they had something that I now study, which is called radiance. So I actually wrote an ebook on that, Unlocking Your Vitality. And then I started to meet more biohackers. Dave Asprey is a friend of mine, got his face ready for Superhuman. You see that book cover. And then I started to notice these other people like biohackers that were just healing in record time. So I started to basically pull from the holistic body, mind, spirit, energy side of things, the biohacking side of things. And then over the last few years, more with the electromagnetic side of things, how we can really tune ourselves and our cells to be our most brightest version. And then if we're using products, they got to be non-toxic. So free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances. So there's also so much we can do with even putting consciousness in products using water and so one of the reasons I'm really excited about this conversation is to also get into the nitty gritty aspects of how we can actually use frequency to remove things from our bodies, like pathogens and parasites. Because then I also started to uncover in my research that a lot of skin issues were related to parasites. 80% of you listening have parasites. Um, in my nursing education, I had one page in my many years of education that did uh, gen chem, organic chem, and biochem on top of that. And uh, in my research for skin optimization and the topic of oxidative stress status that I just wrote a paper on and its impacts on the skin, I included parasites. And that number 80% of us having them is definitely something to pay attention to. So when I started to clear these things and clear parasites actually regularly. I'm on a 21 day cycle for clearing them. And then of course use frequency T behind the scenes. This really made a massive impact on my hair, skin and nails, mental clarity, acuity. And when I did the work, all of that body, mind, spirit, energy, purifying our air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, detoxing, we can talk about those five key things. 
I just noticed huge changes. So I no longer for myself having access to the top rejuvenation options out there. I'd say I was doing about 60% in clinic rejuvenation, 40% home care, led a pretty good lifestyle. And now I'm at about 90% home care, only 10% in clinic rejuvenation. And I look and feel younger than ever. I actually had some biological testing done and my biological age was nine years younger than my chronological age. So it doesn't have to be complicated. It's actually the more simple tweaks that we do to live more simply and just really listen to ourselves become so pure that we can actually hear what our body needs. Right. That is the magic. Yeah. I think that's the key. One of the keys is just to be able to be aware of what your body is feeling um, and where, you know, there's energy is that's lacking or where there's energy that's too much and just finding that balance. And then getting the you know testing different things because there's so many things out there um and testing the different things that's going to help you to find something that really works for you yeah absolutely it's going to be different for everybody and even you know with everyone's soul journey where they are in their life here and how well they understand themselves and when you clear out the noise especially through toxins in air water lighting electromagnetics regular detoxification that ability to hear ourselves becomes so much more clear. And the reason why I think setting the skin is so interesting, well, number one, it's the largest organ. So I'm not just about, you know, making people look pretty. When our internal systems are optimized in their function and they're functioning more powerfully, our skin will show it. And if we're a little bit off, we'll see things on our skin, like an uptick in eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, hair loss, acne, hyperpigmentation, darkness, redness, puffiness to the eyes, irritation to the corners of the mouth, you know, issues with cognition and word cold recall, sores, brain fog can all be contributing. I said cold sores probably too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If there's ever any kind of like outbreak in the skin, Oftentimes it can be through stress and it's not just the emotional or mental stress that we might immediately think of, but in my study and research on the oxidative stress status, you can think about that as the toxic bucket. If this toxic bucket gets too full, it's going to tip over and then you'll start to see things on your skin. But that happens, I would say like a couple of weeks to a couple of months after being exposed to something. So the process of purification body, mind, spirit, energy, electromagnetics is definitely an ongoing practice. And I find when people start, first start to employ these practices, it can be a little overwhelming. So there are some baby steps that we can do. Right. So you mentioned those five things, air, water, electromagnetics, uh, what are the other two? Lighting. Lighting. Okay. And regular detoxing. And regular detoxing. So can you maybe... Um... You know, give us like a rundown of those quickly. Oh, absolutely. So let's start with air. Did you know that most of your body's exposure to heavy metals comes from the, the air? And so you are located in, you know, the, the West Coast of Canada. I was as well. And I would be, you know, once or twice a week, four by fouring, off-roading, you know, 200 kilometers out of cell reception to get fresh air, and away from EMFs. And then I started to notice that my skin was better. So when it comes to air quality, pretty much assume your home has mold. And mold is very, it's a very serious thing to be aware of because it can actually mess with you psychologically. And any type of toxin actually elicits a systemic toxin result in the body. It's not just gonna you know, impact one body system with your air, with your respiratory system, it actually elicits a full body physiological impact, right? It says full body stress impact. Right. So with air purification, it's absolutely essential to be purifying your air in the home. And there are a couple of air purifiers I recommend. I have a favorites page, biohacking page, where I share some of my top tech, but basically you gotta have an air purifier in your main living space when you're cooking. So the BOCs with cooking, as well as in your living space, in your bedroom, and in your office. And what I found in my research is we're, we're talking about the skin and our radiance. 
So we all want to look good. We all want to feel good. We all, we all want to be projecting our best face forward. And the why for enhancing our skin and looking our best is actually comes down to confidence, which then allows us to build our community. We're all more powerful in numbers. And David, you and I are part of a really special community of like-minded individuals who are willing to do that extra work with using technology, mm -hmm. which I really commend you for the work you're doing. And for all of you listening, you guys are really on the right track here. So air purification in the home is important because particulates, heavy metals, debris, pollutants, mold, they can actually sit on the skin and disrupt the skin's keratinocyte stem cells. And that can manifest to you, skin inflammation, pigmentation, acne, eye irritation as well. So just, I would, you know, even if you're somewhere where there isn't a lot of forest fire smoke and anything like that, just assume your home has mold and just know that there are heavy metals in the air and to purify your indoor air mm -hmm. and even in your car too. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's yeah. that? What's the next thing? Uh, water? Yes, exactly. So I'm sure you're familiar with structuring your water mm -hmm. and that's definitely a practice I do. I don't, I not only filter my water with reverse osmosis, you can also do a uh, distillation of your water too. But I find in the home that reverse osmosis systems, either whole home system or countertop system or a system that's installed on your countertop are great. And then you'll just want to remineralize and structure. So I'm actually sipping on a superfood adaptogenic blend here. And this just helps the body manage stress. And then structuring your water takes it one step forward so that when you're drinking that water, it it's actually bioavailable to your body. The water in your body is structured. The water in nature is structured. When it goes through those 90 degree pipes, the oxygen and hydrogen bond angles actually change. So if you were to do a taste test of structured water versus non-structured water, you can actually taste the difference. Structured is, is smoother. So I would say structuring your water is something to do after you start to filter it. Do not drink tap water because of the biofilms in the water piping. A lot of piping also utilizes PVC piping, which emits phthalates. So at every turn, we wanna be reducing toxins so that our mind is clear, so that we can you know, hear what our soul has to say and to do the work that we're here to do. And also showering, making sure that you at least have a really good filter. I can recommend a filter to shower with. Your skin won't be as dry, your skin will be more clear. You might notice some acne start to clear up. And your hair will also look better. But I see your beautiful head of hair, David. You got a beautiful <laughs> head of hair there. Yeah. So water purification is a must. I don't go in pools. I don't go in hot tubs. I never drink tap water at restaurants. Bring your own water. Or if you have to get you know, a bottle of glass carbonated. But even that water is acidic as well. Are you restructuring waters with uh, coils? Or something well, like that? I have... Uh, Oh gosh, how many coils do I have in this house? <laughs> yes, I do use that. I also use some other technology that some colleagues and I have made too. It's a semi-proprietary arrangement of semi-precious stones and metals with an amplifier. You can structure water with lots of different types of technology. And then you can also program your water. Mm -hmm. And that's also an exciting part too. And our thoughts are so powerful. Our intentions are so powerful. So to be in a loving space, a space of love that is going to help structure the water in your body. And then every time you take a drink, you can bless your water and structure it. You can also do that with water that you use to wash your face. I do some really interesting things okay. with the water that I use after showering to, you know, put on my face with different minerals. Um, more on that soon. Okay. That sounds very interesting. All right. So that's water. Um, what else was there? Is there lighting? Lighting. Was yeah, lighting is a really interesting topic right now because we're actually getting more exposure to blue light radiation more than ever. And we might think, oh, if we go in the sun, then we'll get sunspots and pigmentation and get a sunburn. However, what we're finding, what I found in my latest research article on oxidative stress status in the skin is that we're getting so much more exposure to blue light and it actually reaches deeper in the skin. You might not get a burn from it, but it does impact the skin cells and the DNA. 
So this so even, from like TV and computer screens and phones? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I have some lighting right now. And yes, if I do watch TV, which is very minimal, it's pretty much only movies, uh, on the computer here or on my cell phone, I'm always wearing blue light blocking glasses. And the reason this is so important is number one, I also have my skincare on. So cleansed, antioxidant serum, eye cream, neck cream, sunscreen. I do wear sunscreen every day on the high real estate areas of face, eyelids, neck, chest, and hands. However, I'm in South Florida here and I love to get as much full body sun exposure as I can. And the interesting thing about me and my journey is I'm what you would consider Fitzpatrick skin type two. So typically I would go outside and burn or go pink in about 10 or 15 minutes. Now I can literally be outside all day and not go pink. And I because really attribute that or because of something else. It's truly because my oxidative stress status is so low that my body can actually handle the sun UV damage. I also take a ton of supplements, mm -hmm. tons of omegas, antioxidants, collagen. And I started to notice a couple of years ago when I really increased my antioxidant usage to support my immune health, that's when I noticed a massive difference with my sun tolerance change. I used to have to slather my body in sunscreen. Now I'm like, give it to me, you know, at the beach in the ocean here, getting that beautiful salt or cleansing too for the human biofill is so good for you. So yeah, I highly recommend your skincare and sunscreen, high real estate areas and wearing blue light blocking glasses. Mm -hmm. However, the sun is so important and vital. I mean, hello, it's, it's life. It's life force. Get those beautiful sun coats too. Let's not forget about that. Um, but when we get our sunrise and sunset, sun in our eyes, it's really great for a circadian rhythm. So it's going to help us sleep better. It's going to help with hormones. There's some really cool pathways in the eyes that respond to sunlight. So getting sunlight first thing in the AM, first thing in the PM, I didn't say morning because we don't want to mourn the morning. I'm also very cognizant of the word choices that I use because, you know, words are programs essentially also. So yes, LEDs are something we gotta live with. However, if you can switch out your LEDs in your home, so say you have those socket lights, pocket lights, mm -hmm. and LED, switch them to halogen and oh. incandescent. Mm -hmm. Really important. I'm also gonna write another paper Doesn't on- matter if you have LEDs oh, well. that like have different colors. There's still LEDs. So you, even though it's, it's like daylight frequency, it's not as good as- um... Not at all, no. Yeah, the LEDs emit a very narrow bandwidth of light, which is damaging to the skin, the eyes. We're actually seeing ocular diseases in individuals in their 40s. I actually have a girlfriend in Vancouver who she's 44 and she has to get cataract. She has to get cataract surgery. This is an 80-year-old eye disease, right? Because I have 11 years in ophthalmology, oculoplastics. And so these things, uh, like LED in particular, they disrupt our sleep, they make the skin age, they can contribute to hair loss and they're contributing to ocular disease. There's no question. So skincare, blue light blocking glasses and switch out as many LED lights in your home as you can go back in time to the halogen incandescent. It's pretty much like anything that is more convenient these days is, I hate to say killing us or contribute, trying to contribute to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your electrician will look at you sideways or your partner when you say, honey, we got to switch these lights. But trust me, when you drive past a home that has LEDs, it's going to look kind of like blue and white, not so warm and inviting. Then you drive past a home with halogen lighting. It just looks so golden, and cozy. And there's a reason for that. It's a totally different spectrum of light. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. So that's not too difficult to, to uh, implement. Just change light bulbs. Yep. Yeah. And wear the glasses, but not all glasses are created equally as well. And I do have my prescription in these. So the blue light coating from your optometrist is not adequate mm -hmm. or a lot of the blue light blockers you'll find on these third-party auction websites. If you're wearing your blue blockers, you go to your microwave, which you shouldn't be using anyways, mm -hmm. and you can see the blue lights. It's not blocking blue light, right? So there's a lot of low quality ones out there. So I rec there's only uh, really two brands that I do like for blue light blockers. And you know, these things are indestructible. Mm -hmm. And then at different times of the day, you can actually just clip on, there's little magnets here, different filters for different times of day. So you don't need multiple glasses, right? Daytime, evening, nighttime, 
super convenient and they're pretty well priced too. Mm-hmm. Actually less expensive mm-hmm. getting prescription with these than at my optometrist. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, we can learn more about that uh, later. All right. The next one is, what was it? I forgot. Electromagnetics. Oh, this is your comment. jam. <laughs> Yes. Electromagnetics, I would say is the smoking of our generation. Yeah. Just to be really honest about that. So I, what was this? I think it was about 2015, 2017. I started to investigate this and I found on, you know, a big nationwide website that about 15% of the population were electromagnetically hypersensitive. Now, you know, last year when I was writing this paper, I tried to go back. It's not there anymore. And since then we've had various different technologies roll out 3g 5g you know what's next right and the human biofield is really sensitive to electromagnetics and the eyes the skin there's actually studies that i reference that electromagnetics actually contribute to skin redness and irritation and ocular diseases so hello cataracts right same with led same with emfs the higher your oxidative stress status is the fuller your toxic bucket there's actually research to show that the more susceptible we are to being electromagnetically hypersensitive. So what do you do? David, I know you do this. You do your you do your Tai Chi and Qigong outside barefoot. Just mm-hmm. go barefoot. I did that right before this call here. Barefoot, 30 to 45 minutes. It's going to ground the electromagnetics of your cells, especially your blood. So we're actually seeing blood clotting with electromagnetics where the red blood cells stick together. They form chains called Rouleau. You get clotting. You don't get good oxygenation to your brain. So hello, all these people with brain fog. Yeah. And then you're also going to be better able to detox too, because your blood can carry out those toxins from metabolic waste products. I think we're going to find a lot more about electromagnetics. So one of the things I love about the work that you're doing, David, is that you're you're basically creating technology to create a field around you, which is so imperative. It's a huge part of my life, what I do all day, every day in my home. Mm-hmm. The vibes are so good. Yeah. And then having that, there, there are beautiful ways to use technology. So not, not all technology is bad. It's just, you know, what's the frequency of it? Mm-hmm. So when you can program the frequency to actually be harmonious with the body to promote sleep using different frequencies to clear out things like parasites and other pathogens this stuff does exist i use it and help us sleep better all these things when our bodies are in really good fields and you know the fields of energy that work with say vbm vortex-based mathematics and our body is a conductor of this energy because of how much water we have in it and then it charges the mitochondria, which gives us more energy too. So the less scrambled the energies are around us, say from the sine waves in our homes, the better chance you have. So one of the best ways that I shield myself from electromagnetics be in the world, but not, not of the world, I actually wear EMF mitigation clothing all the time, mm-hmm. silver threaded clothing. If I'm driving, traveling, whatever, I'll actually wear them under my beautiful dresses. Wait, and I'm actually coming out with a, with, a, with a line, with a uh, fashion line. Pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's in the works too. Some more. Okay. Let me tell you something. The EMF clothing right now is very much geared for men. When I wear my stuff, it kind of look like I'm ready for the, you know, I'm ready to go on Star Trek. <laughs> so I'm looking to create some more beautiful options mm-hmm. and it just, it feels like so, but not all EMF clothing is created uh, equally. Mm-hmm. So I do have some recommendations for that. So shielding your body first and foremost is great. Grounding your body outside, having excellent technology in your home to support healthier sine waves because the you know, electrical circuitry in the home is going to give you scrambled sine waves, right? And that's going to impact your body. But simple grounding, getting outside, you know, is so important. And then, yeah, the detoxing is super key. So when you Purify your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and you're doing regular parasite tox- detoxing, yeast, fungi, heavy metal detoxing, getting in your sauna a couple times a week, using your ionic foot bath, which uses Tesla coil, which is pretty cool. I actually use Tesla coils to pull cellular fragments out of the body. that don't need to be there. Senescent cells, they serve as zombie cells. And they actually tell other cells in your body to start to behave inappropriately too. So we do have to work regularly at detoxing St. Pierre, different supplements, different techniques. Uh, yeah. So let me know any other questions you have for me. Yeah. Well, there's one more, wasn't it? Uh, was that the, the heavy metals or was it something else? Electromagnetic? Yeah. 
So purifying our air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and detoxing. detoxing. Super important. These are the five key things. The detoxing bit, you can use technology to do that, like what you have for mm -hmm. different organisms and parasites, which I absolutely love because everything has a frequency. If you can figure out what that frequency is and target it, boom, you're off to the races. And then getting the body in a highly alkaline state, taking senolytics. Senolytics has uh, basically been a huge discovery in the longevity space to consume senolytics to basically prune out the leaves on a tree that have changed color. Get those out of the way every 21 days or so is what's recommended with some of the products I use. And then the rest of the tree makes, you know, better foliage, more fruit, feels better, looks better, all of that stuff. So you do all those things, combine that with good skincare, the odd rejuvenation thing here and there, and you are going to be well ahead of the back. Right. So it seems that there's a lot of things to do. Um, quite simple, but, it, you know, it could be overwhelming to someone who is uh, just starting out, you know, learning about all this biohacking stuff. So what do you recommend to somebody who, you know, what, what are the baby steps that you mentioned like to, to get started in this? Start with your water. Start with getting some air purifier. Start with purifying your water. And just, you don't have to spend a ton of money to do these things either. Just slowly incorporate them in alignment with your values, your budget, your lifestyle. I do have a really easy free guide to help people kind of step by step what to focus on as well. But it takes time and sure it can sound overwhelming at first, but I'm telling you, this is what it takes in today's world to be a beautiful, high vibrating human, to clear out the toxins, clear out all those things in our environment that are there to mess with us. We're exposed to a lot more than we used to be. And it's, now that you have this awareness, you know, there's kind of no going back. Right, yes. So. Thank you so much. I think you setting an example for a lot of people uh, and you, you know, you, you show the results yourself. You have beautiful hair, your skin is beautiful and your energy is beautiful. And, and uh, we know that it works because you are the, you are your best product. <laughs> oh, thank you, David. Yeah. There's a lot more too, to the radiance as well with really understanding ourselves, where we come from, what our background is, um, you know, some of the different programs that we have, either things that we want or things that we don't want. There's a lot of work to do with that too, is staying pure on many different channels, actually, not just in this. Radiating in the, in the more spiritual and deeper level. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you go to the Bible, there's scriptures of uh, Jesus being depicted as, you know, his bones vibrating and yeah. You, you see images of different people from thousands of years ago. They have this halo around them. What do you think that is? It's radiance. Yeah, it's radiance. Yeah. 100%. They it's just meditation. didn't know, quite know how to depict it. Yeah, so it's... the cool thing about radiance is we can actually use this as a tool to find other people like us. So I go to events and I have people come up to me and they say, Rachel, you know, it's just your energy. I want to come and talk to you. Mm -hmm. I saw you in the room. Just wanted to come say hi. And before it used to be, oh, you know, your skin is so great. What products do you use? Mm -hmm. What else? Who, what designer are you wearing? Right? right. The way that people respond to me are totally different. And now when I say I speak in an event or go somewhere, I have the right people show up at the right time in the right way. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful to witness. And so when you're on this path, sometimes it can be a little bit lonely when you're first starting out before you start to cultivate your community. So when you get that confidence up, you're going to be more able to go out there and you know protect yourself from things and then also be available to open up to some other incredible souls that are here to support you in ways that you, know, you just might not know yet. Feel free to ask me any other questions because I'm a huge nerd in the space of VBM and coils and technology and how it impacts the skin and consciousness. This right. is a huge part of my world. Mm -hmm. And I, the more people that know about this technology and in particular what you're creating, the better, right? Because it's not just to help with the body system, it's also to help with the soul and consciousness, which then inevitably supports the body systems. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to hear from you, David, let's turn the tables a little bit. Okay. What do you see in regards with your technology with skin? 
Well, we actually have um, skin rejuvenation frequencies. We have a whole um, collection of them for anti-aging, for skin skin rejuvenation, for beauty, for um, like detox. Uh, we have, well, we have the prayer site collection. So so those are great. I use I mean, obviously I use, use my cheek holes every day, thirty minutes per day. But we also I also also use red light therapy. Uh, we have red light therapy panels. Um, there's spe some specific frequencies that you can set on the panel because it can pulse at different rates. And depending on how fast it pulses, then it goes deeper and and, and uh, affects different systems of your skin or your internal organs. So I uh, so I use that. So I basically have a whole stack of technology that I use on a regular basis. Adding that to qigong that I do every morning. I mean every what do you say? Beginning of the day. <laughs> so in the a.m. Yes, we don't have morning mornings. Uh, yeah, I caught on on that. So um, in the a.m. I do uh, I do the uh, the qigong meditation and you know sometimes when I go out and walk my dog I'm doing qigong every time so every day I'm doing a bunch of stuff so it's kind of like a part of a lifestyle so for the skin um, I you know use a little bit of skincare but I don't think that this is the result of just that uh, like obviously it's 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 a combination of all the all the above um, and then going further, you know, talking about the, the deeper side of things, like uh, the spiritual side of things. Um, uh, what I found was uh, that's kind of special that I think I just had done more research than other people is the is the the effects of the different winding pattern. You know, uh, there there's many. Yes. Yeah, lots of different tack are winded yeah. differently. They're coded differently. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's not a lot of many coils, but what I've designed these to do is to imitate the yin and the yang forces that are throughout the universe, right? They're written or talked about and taught in all the ancient texts. It's the basis of TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. And what I found was that depending on which way they face and also um, whether they're wound in the yang pattern or yin pattern, they have different effects. And then there's different ways to configure them on the body to have different effects as well. So that's very interesting because what I found is um, there's one that's a, spe a specific configuration I discovered where if you put one on top of the head in a specific yang pattern and a yin and your seats, you get this lengthening of your spine. It's like your Kendalini meditation, they call it, right? But in, 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 um, in Qigong, it's called Zhang Ding or in Tai Chi it's called Zhang Ding, which means the ultimate or the you know, the, the single point of alignment, you know, that's a trans translation for it. And, and um, you know, I experienced that during my meditation, during my Tai Chi, but when I used the coils, I was like, wow, this is the same feeling I got without doing anything. I'm just sitting here and I'm getting that same alignment and the same uh, the energetic um, focusing of that energy. Oh yeah, I totally hear what you're saying with the winding, and then on one side of the coil, it feels one way and on another, it feels another way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I love this space and I love what people are doing with experimenting with the patterns of winding and also what they're coating the copper coiling with. Mm -hmm. And I have felt this, what you're talking about with holding, you know, some of the most cutting edge coils that are being made today by leading scientists, holding it to my heart and feeling the difference from one side to another. It was like on one side, you know, I didn't really feel very much. And then I flipped over the coil and, you know, this is a big coil. Mm -hmm. and it's like, I just felt my heart happy. Yeah. And I absolutely love that what you do with Qigong. I'm actually going to be starting Qigong next week. Okay. Very excited. Mm -hmm. I had a new radiant friend say, Hey, one of my friends teaches Qigong at the local rec center. She's excellent. You should go to check her out. So perfect. I have a wonderful new sensei to teach me who is very, very well uh, experienced because Qigong actually in some of my spiritual readings in the past was something very important for me to get more grounding in. And so yoga and Qigong are excellent grounding methods. And with grounding the body, you're also going to be mastering your nervous system. If your nervous system is out of whack, right? You are basically triggered by anything and everything. So that's why cold therapy can actually be really good in the AM. So cold shower in the AM tones, that vagus nerve, you know, having that cold water blasted on your face or going to the ocean in Western Canada does the same thing. I would do about seven minutes up to my neck for pain. 
and then the hot therapy in the evening before bed. So again, balancing those two aspects of ourselves, masculine and feminine, the yin, the yang. And uh, my TCM, he was actually the one that clued me into the fact that I was doing too much cold therapy and it was putting my body into much of a survival state. So it's all about balance with all of these different biohacking options. Red light therapy is usually what people go to first when they think of biohacking because they think, yeah, these people hanging out with these really cool red lights. Love red light therapy, definitely has a place. However, I would say that purification of your environment, air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, detoxing, using technology like yourselves is where I would go first. And then adding things in like red light therapy, um, contrast therapy, and all these other, you know, there's so much tech as well that is utilized in the biohacking space for feedback for the brain that, you know, I found really work and have some great scientific data behind them too, but you can get kind of lost in the biohacking world. And for all of you listening, it's not our intention is to just kind of mention things that could spark something in your awareness to learn more about. I mean, what better is there to learn more about than helping our body, mind, spirit, energy glow from within so that we will have better exchanges with ourselves and also those we interact with. What is your, I'm curious, Ava, what is your why behind, what is your intention with your daily Qigong practices, your technology, your show? It's be cool for your listeners to hear too. Uh, my intention has always been to unlock my potential and to reach my potential. Uh, you can see actually on my wall, it's got this Chinese calligraphy. And that's basically it's like self-improvement. So always improving yourself. And um, and I think my potential is to uh, get this technology to the world and help heal the world with it in a real, you know, concrete, um, measurable and predictable way uh, that everybody can do, you know, with or without effort, you know, and make it easy for people to do it, to, you know, to counteract all the toxins in the world and negative energy that's being spread out and being uh, propagated, you know, to, to basically, you know, eliminate that or just displace that with, with the positive energy, uh, raising the frequency of the planet, raising the frequency of individuals, of communities, because when the, there's a rising tide, it raises all ships. And, you know, if, if we had more people um, with a high vibration like yourself and then with a community, we can do a lot of, um, do a lot of good by, uh, and actually improve the planet, even its, its environment and, and the damage that's being done to the planet right now. I really like how you said that with balancing, right? There's always good, there's always bad, there's always dark, there's always light. So for you and I, and for a lot of you listening, we're here to bring the light. We're here to bring the good. We're here to bring the positivity, you know, the consciousness expansion. And when you're doing this work, it's not for the weak hearted or the weak minded, you know, there's a lot of challenges that go into making technology like yourself, like what you've done. And what I like to do is actually test the technology. So I have a really cool piece of tech that I use that actually measures the human biofield. It uses purely on photography it's called the BioWell. Mm -hmm. It is exclusive to practitioners. So I'm able to get my hands on it as a registered nurse. And a lot of energy medicine practitioners utilize this primarily in Europe. And what's really cool is that it has a lot of different TCM points to it. So it measures the photons coming off of your fingertips. That's why, you know, Qigong and Tai Chi and martial artists, they have very good electromagnetic projection of energy coming off their first two fingers. You're not, you know this. There's actually technology that can measure the, basically the photon discharge, the vectors, the amplitude, and then put it in a computer program, extrapolate it and see your human biofield it gives you an alignment uh, visualization of your chakras and different TCM points. So once I get my hands on some of your tech, I'm going to be testing it with the BioL. Yeah. And, you know, I do this, right, on multiple people. I do studies all the time. So happy to share that uh, research with you. Yeah, that will be great. Yeah, um, I had one. I gave it to my chiropractor friend. Um, but yeah, I know it, uh, that it's pretty interesting. Yeah, we, we'd be, yeah, we, we're kind of amazed. Like it's actually energy coming out from my fingers and you can measure it. 
Yeah. I know. <laughs> and it uses a little piece of Kirli on photography, a little box like this and a computer software program. Yeah. It's so cool. And it just, it really makes me excited for the future of what's going to come with this technology because we're seeing this stuff come out at very fast rates. Mm -hmm. And there's been some new discoveries even just over the last couple of days too with uh, Syntac. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to share. You're going to be on my show too, the Always Radiant Skin podcast and sharing yeah. your work with my community. And then, you know, it'll just keep spiraling in a really beautiful way to impact more souls, to help them be more balanced, centered, grounded, and aligned and be more beautiful and radiant. That's beautiful and radiant. Amazing. So if, if, um, how, how do people find more, more about you? Yeah, well, everything you can find me at rachelvarga.ca. That website is going to be getting an upgrade as well with the name. But if you just go to rachelvarga.ca, that will point you where you need to go. And then be sure to tune in on your favorite podcast class, your podcast platform on the Always Radiant Skin podcast. When you listen on the podcast application, you'll get more of my solo episodes where it's, you know, a lot of actually downloads and solo interviews, solo sessions with myself. And then I also host interviews with some of the brightest minds in the functional wellness biohacking space, hosted, you know, well over 600 interviews. And when you do these interviews, David, isn't it so fun what we get to learn from one another? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've learned a lot today. Yeah. And then I do have a, a free guide. Head on over to rachelvarga.ca, jump on my newsletter. You'll get access to some of my free, I have five free guides actually. One of them is nine keys to slowing aging. Mm -hmm. And you can also go over to skincarechecklist.com to get some of my easy skincare insights. So whatever products you're using now, just to help you use them a little bit more appropriately. But the podcast is really where my heart and soul is. The Always Radiant Skin Podcast. You can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me at rachelvarga.ca. We can talk about what products you're using, give you some at-home in clinic guidance. And then I have seasonal skin camp programs to mm -hmm. check to use products. And then the School of Radiance, the schoolofradiance.com is truly where I share a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. So I don't, I don't typically publicly talk about a lot of the different energy tech that I use for various reasons. I mean, I don't have to explain that. <laughs> so the School of Radiance is really where I take you behind the scenes with a lot of the different tech that I use. Okay. It's just in a, a more closed sacred container. Hmm. All right. That's a lot. And it looks like you're helping a lot of people on lots of different levels. So there you go. Um, go check it out. Go to rachelvarga.ca and um, get her tips and guides and book an appointment with her and uh, check out her podcast. So thank you, Rachel. It was fun and I look forward to talking to you real soon. You too. Thank you, David. And I look Use forward to chi. meeting some of you. We do this. Use the chi and prosper. Use the chi and prosper, my friend. <laughs>